Hello, hello, hello. It is I, Mitch. And we are here with a list of the best simulator games of all time. This is a massive genre where games are designed to simulate a world into games to mind-boggling details. These games are lately gaining a lot of popularity as most other genres are not delivering what gamers expect from them. Without more delays, let's dive into the list. First up, The Sims 4. The legendary game which gave birth to this genre, to put it simply, it is a life simulation game. There is no primary objective or goal to achieve, and instead of fulfilling objectives, the player is encouraged to make choices and engage fully in an interactive environment. The focus of the games is on the simulated lives of virtual people called Sims. The player is responsible for directing their actions, attending to their needs, and helping them attain their desires. Players control their life and explore different personalities which change the way the game plays out. Players can play with pre-existing Sims and families, or create their own. They can place their Sims in pre-constructed homes or build their houses using the in-game building tools, then furnish the homes with objects from an in-game catalog. As most of us are familiar with the Sims series, it is the oldest and greatest of all simulators to this day. Next, Microsoft Flight Simulator, where you can pilot airplanes and fly anywhere in the world, literally anywhere in the world. The whole planet is mapped and modeled, ready to be flown across from tens of thousands of airports. This being a Microsoft game, simulates the entire Earth using textures and data from Bing Maps. You can fly to every single airport in the world, too. All 37,000 of them. To pull off this feat, the studio is using a combination of Bing satellite imaging and a whole lot of manual work. On top of seeing other players in the world, Microsoft Flight Simulator will simulate real daily air traffic across the world. You can also choose to filter out non-realistic pilots in multiplayer. Clouds cast shadows over the landscape below. The game has the best graphics and detailing we have ever seen across any game on the platform. Next, Cities, Skylines. It is a single-player, open-ended city-building game. Players engage in urban planning by controlling zoning, road placement, taxation, public services, and public transportation of an area. Players start with a plot of land, equivalent to a 2 by 2 kilometer area, along with an interchange exit from a nearby highway, as well as a starting amount of in-game money. Players then work to maintain various elements of the city, including its budget, health, employment, and pollution levels. Players can add roads and residential, industrial and commercial zones, and basic services like power, water, and sewage as to encourage residents to move in and as to encourage residents to move in and supply them with jobs. Players are also able to maintain a city in a sandbox mode, which provides more creative freedom for the player. And next, Farming Simulator 19. It's a farming simulation video game where the players take on the role of a farmer. Their tasks range from expanding and upgrading dated equipment and machinery. This can be achieved by harvesting crops and selling them. The players are free to explore the surrounding areas of the map, grow from their choice of several crops, and invest their money in additional fields and equipment. The players can also take up the responsibility of raising livestock or earn an income from forestry. In Farming Simulator 2019, some other new features include a redesigned graphics engine and the addition of horse farming as well as oat and cotton crops. The game also features John Deere machinery for the first time, as well as Komatsu, Rao, Wilson Trailer, and more. Coming in next, Euro Truck Simulator. This is an open world truck simulator game. The basic premise of the game is that the player can drive one of a choice of articulated trucks across a condensed depiction of Europe, picking up cargo from various locations and delivering it. As the game progresses, it is possible for the player to buy more vehicles and depots as well as hire other drivers to work for them. Gameplay follows an open world style, with players being essentially free to travel anywhere in their lorries, provided they can keep up with fuel, maintenance, and toll costs, alongside fines if they incur any. When starting out, players choose their HQ location in any of the game's map cities and start delivering from there. Coming in next, Railway Empire. 
It's a rail tycoon simulation game that takes place in the United States from 1830 to 1930. You can build a large network of railway lines and buy various locomotives to serve cities and industries, growing cities in the process and hire railway personnel for both train operations and office positions all with individual bonuses and personality types. You can also unlock innovations such as new locomotives or bonuses to revenue. The game has five main game modes, campaign mode, scenario mode, free mode, sandbox mode, and challenge mode. The campaign mode mainly takes the player through the building of the first transcontinental railroad, the exception being Mission 4, which is based around the American Civil War. In this mode, the player must fulfill tasks as well as competing with AI-controlled competitors. Coming in next, Stardew Valley. It introduced multiplayer in 2018, adding co-op for up to four players or more with mods, all sharing the same farm. It's a pleasant place to spend time together, dividing up the endless farm chores and watching your overgrown homestead slowly morph into a thriving veggie plantation. Multiplayer works pretty seamlessly. You share money, but otherwise have your own houses, inventories, and relationships with the townsfolk, so your whole crew can mostly do their own thing. Then, come together for special season events. It lets you live out an alternate life as a farmer, away from the hustle of cities and video games, with guns and whatnot. It's about escape, and you can escape with friends, with real people in the mix. You can get an actual community. Maybe they'll bake you a cake or steal your chickens. And next, Kerbal Space Program. This is a spaceflight simulation video game. In the game, players direct a nascent space program staffed and crewed by green humanoid aliens known as Kerbals. The game features a realistic orbital physics engine, allowing for various real-life orbital maneuvers. Players can administer a space program operated by Kerbals, a species of small green humanoids who have constructed a spaceport called the Kerbal Space Center, or KSC, on their home planet, Kerbin. From this space center, players can create rockets, aircraft, space planes, rovers, and other craft from a provided set of components. Once built, the craft can be launched by players from the KSC launch pad or runway in an attempt to complete player set or in-game directed missions while avoiding partial or catastrophic failure. Coming in next, PC Building Simulator. It's a simulation strategy video game where the player has a workshop. In there, they must complete tasks that involve modifying pre-built computers, such as removing viruses, adding new parts, or building a brand new computer to earn in-game cash, which can be spent on purchasing new or used parts. After each completed task, the player earns a certain amount of experience points. When a certain amount of experience is reached, the player levels up, unlocking newer and more advanced parts. As the player progresses, they will start seeing larger sums of cash stored in their banks, which could be spent improving their workshop. Some of the upgrades include additional workbenches and a cabinet which is used to store computers and reduce clutter. Okay, coming in last, Two Point Hospital. It's a business simulation game where players take on the role of a hospital manager charged with constructing and maintaining a hospital. Tasks include building rooms and amenities that satisfy the needs of patients and staff, thus expanding the hospital into new plots. You can also hire doctors, nurses, janitors, and assistants. Players can manage several hospitals, each with their own layout and objectives. The game features unique, comical conditions such as lightheadedness, having a light bulb for a head, pandemic, having a pan on one's head, mock star, patients are Freddie Mercury impersonators, and animal magnetism, having animals stuck to the patient's body. When patients die, they sometimes become ghosts, which disrupt the hospital by terrorizing patients and staff. And that concludes our best simulator PC games list. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to us to see more videos like this in the future. See you next time.